Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike, just in case you are new here. And just wanted to kind of give you a little update. I did blood work today. Um, and so far, some things good, some things bad. I should have probably had this pulled up before I started the video, but I don't prepare for things very well. Also on top of the blood work, I wanted to kind of give you an update on blood work, how everything's going right now um, as we're waiting to start my other round of chemo come Friday. And uh, I had another question that I wanted to answer. So we're going to do all that. But as of right now, my magnesium is low, which they've been giving me magnesium uh, whenever I do chemo. So I'm hoping that starts to go up. Sodium, potassium, and chloride, that's all good. My CO2 was high for some reason. Glucose and calcium was great. Kidney function was off, which was weird. It's kind of been bugging me a little bit too. I don't know why my kidneys are being stupid. Uh, liver's perfect. Protein and all that's really good. So far, all that's fine. But my white blood count, my red blood count, my hemoglobin, all that's low. My allergies are a little high right now. Lymphs are good, but my I don't, monocytes. What are monocytes? Let's let's learn this together. I know I've looked it up before, but I might as well look it up again. A high monocyte count, also known as uh, monocytosis, can be a sign of many different conditions, including infections, viral, bacterial parasitic infections such as COVID-19, mono, mononucleosis, nu nucleosis, or tuberculosis, uh, blood disorders such as sickle cell disease or hemolytic anemia, autoimmune disease such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, or inflammatory bowel disease, cancer such as leukemia or lymphoma, cardiovascular disease, a higher Monocyte count is associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease over 10 years. Other conditions such as sarcoidosis, pregnancy, well, hopefully that's not it because I don't want to be a single father, uh, or a reaction to certain medications like steroids, less serious causes such as chronic stress or intense exercise. Huh. Well, that's high. I don't think I'm sick. I don't have a fever of any kind that I know of, but anyways... Now we know what monocytes do. So yeah, that was high. Other stuff was good, but my absolute limps were no, uh, low. And then everything else was fairly fantastic. So that that's how the this morning went. We went and did that like really early this morning. But other than that, a quick update on the swollen testicle. It's gone down. Haven't had a chance to talk to the doctor. Haven't had a chance to like, ha we weren't going to go get it checked out unless it started causing pain. But this, the, the size of it has gone down, which seems good. Once again, there's still no pain. There's no issue. So everything seems okay with that. Now my intestines seem to be inflamed for some reason. And I can't figure out why. Haven't been drinking like crazy. Haven't really, I haven't drank anything besides... Uh, body armors, water, maybe a Dr. Pepper here and there, and maybe some tea here and there, but it's mainly been water and body armor to keep myself hydrated. Haven't eaten anything spicy or anything that could cause hardcore discomfort or IBS, which is kind of weird. Maybe IBS with the monocytes. It may, it, maybe I've set something off and it started to spiral and then I just haven't given it time to chill and calm down but everything is still passing so there's just there's pain with that and then obviously there's still leg pain but i have been taking my morphine i have been like i'm on a, a half a tablet of morphine right now so the pain's subsided quite a bit i just wanted to make this video and then i was actually probably going to go lay down because as you can see on my face i'm tired and the morphine makes me drowsy other than that Everything seems to be okay. Um, both stomas are still stomaing and doing the things that they do. My leg still hurts and I'm still able to eat, but my intestines just feel inflamed for some reason. But they feel like it feels like trapped gas almost, where it's it, it tenses up and causes pain, like it's trying to pass something and then it eases. And it tenses up like after a while it'll just kind of do that over and over so i don't know it's something i gotta get checked out especially if the chemo doesn't do anything to help it then yeah i definitely need to go get checked but i wanted to answer this question 
that I just saw today from user Ayasha 89 games 66 They said another question. Sorry, no need to apologize, please. Anytime you have, just drop it down in the comments. Uh, so you're stage four, but only have one known tumor. I understand from this video, possibly metastasis. But let's just say there's not. Thought to be stage four, you would already have to have, there would already have to be spread with multiple tumors. My mother-in-law is wrapping up her battle, fingers crossed, had one in the breast and one in lymph node. I think hers was uh, stage two, I guess. So first off, I want to say I hope the best for your mom. I hope that everything goes well and she goes into remission and doesn't have to deal with this shit anymore. Sending you shit tons of positivity and love and all the best to you and her. So please, if if you want to or if you feel the need to keep us updated on how that goes but to go to your question my tumor has spread from the original spot uh, back in 2015 if you haven't seen the video already uh, i had stage 2 colon where they did a laparoscopic surgery and they took out eight inches of my transverse colon and the tumor which was about the size of a golf ball and that's you know, where they had staged it, stage two. Well, then two years later, when it resurfaced and came back, it had technically attached to, it had perforated my bowels. They took out 95% uh, of my large intestine, a third of my stomach, and all the lymph nodes from there. Well, somehow or another, the cancer had spread to the original 2015 extraction spot when they did the laparoscopic surgery and that's where my tumor is at now it's intertwined with the muscle tissue and whatnot under my liver and they have found lymph nodes with you know they're swollen because they're the disease has, has become a part of them as well so I am stage four in the sense that it has spread to a different location and it's not in the original spot, but I'm not stage four in the sense that it's gone to my lungs, my liver, stuff like that. So it's still spread from one area to another and it's it's made its home in my muscle fiber and muscle tissue of my abdomen. So the fact that it, it spread regardless of how, whether it had just been a rogue cancer cell or you know they didn't follow the procedure perfectly and they they got some on the extraction site and bada bing bada boom i have now i got a tumor over there now it is still stage four it's what all my doctors have always told me it's it's i'm at stage four i've actually been told you know um i'm stage four metastatic colon cancer terminal so they're basically saying like that you have stage four colon cancer in your terminal like you're going there, there's a high chance that this is going to kill you kind of thing. As of right now, we're still doing everything we can. There's a few more um, immunotherapies that I've found that I want to talk to my oncologist about that might put uh, put some work in, but I have to bring that up to her next time I see her. But yeah, technically, I, I do have... You know, as as it's written, as I've been diagnosed, stage four. How do you how do you metastatic met meta? You know what I mean. I have stage four shit moved cancer in my body, so it's it's shitty, but it is what it is. There's you just gotta play the hand you're dealt, and I tend to keep a yeah, more cheery outlook on things than normal. But that's just me. I've always kind of been that way. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, and please, by all means, do not feel sorry for asking questions. Um, if anybody else has any others, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll get to them whenever I can. Uh, other than that, I've got Chemo Friday. We'll see if that one does some, some more oomph to putting this thing back in its place. Other than that... Yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday or whatever day you're deciding to watch this on. Keep an eye out for them silver linings. I promise they're out there. And until the next video, I will see you. Oh, bye.